Introducing Apollo, a system for making sense of large network data, using rich user interaction and machine learning. Apollo is best for bottom-up sense making of networks. It lets you start with small but familiar data, then build up your understanding of the bigger picture. Let's see an example of how Jane uses Apollo to make sense of the research areas surrounding the seminal article, the cost structure of sense making. At startup, Jane's paper is highlighted in black. Apollo also shows the top 10 articles that it infers are most relevant to her paper. Using Apollo's built-in machine learning method, called belief propagation, which is similar to algorithms based on spreading activation. By quickly skimming through the papers, Jane sees that some of them are about information visualization, and some are about collaborative search. So she separates them temporarily by moving and pinning them to two corners, and moves the rest of them out of her way, hiding some of them. Jane then creates two groups. and move the articles into them. These articles become the group's exemplars. Adding exemplars causes Apollo's machine learning algorithm to execute and infer all other articles' relevance relative to the exemplars. Almost immediately, the color of the articles changes to reflect their relevance. The more saturated the color, the more likely the article belongs to the group. Jane now uses the scene to locate articles that she may want to read next. She first brings in 10 more articles that have either cited, or have been cited by her article. The new articles are pre-sorted by citation count. Jane also sees that the articles have already been colored. She wants to quickly find the article that most likely belongs to information visualization. So she ranks the articles by their relevance to that group, using Apollo's rank in place feature. She can also rank them by year. Jane has found the article, but she doesn't understand why it was so highly ranked. To find out, she traces an outgoing edge pointing to another article that was commonly cited by two exemplars. Now she understands that the highest ranked article has received its relevance from the two exemplars indirectly through an intermediary article. Now, Jane tries to find more articles about visualization. Using the search feature, she sees that some articles are about visualization applications and some provide analytical type of information, so she spatially divides them into two subgroups. After some more skimming, Jane found another potential research area, Personal Information Management, or PIM for short. So she creates a group for it, and marked the Personal Information Management article as an exemplar. Jane wants to find more articles about PIM, so she asks Apollo to suggest 10 related articles. A few of them are indeed relevant, so she adds them to the group. Following this workflow, Jane can iteratively refine the groups create new ones, move articles between them, and spatially rearrange articles in the visualization. Apollo provides an intuitive, mixed initiative user interface to help people make sense of large network, by combining rich user interaction and machine learning, to guide the user to incrementally and interactively explore large network data and make sense of it.